For the most part, the curing process for silicone is hands-off. We won't be needing to interact with our molds too much. This part of the process is all about letting the material do its thing. However, what we mean by do its thing is different depending on the type of silicone we use. Let's look at our two types of silicone, the specific cure process for each, and what factors affect that type of cure. We'll avoid the complex chemistry here and focus only on what we need to know to use these materials effectively. During the planning phase of our process, we chose a type of silicone to use. Our choice was either a tin cure silicone or a platinum cure silicone. We discussed the differences between the two and the benefits of using one over the other. However, we did not discuss the way that each type of silicone cures. Tin cure silicones are condensation cured. When the catalyst, usually the B side, is added to the rubber base, usually the A side, a chemical reaction occurs. That chemical reaction utilizes the ambient moisture in the air, some amount of the metal tin, and specific chemical crosslinkers as a part of its curing process. Platinum cure silicones are addition cured. Addition cured silicones depend on a chemical reaction to combine components in each side of the material into larger molecules, essentially adding them together. Platinum cure silicones utilize the metal platinum as a part of this reaction, giving the group their name. Knowing how the different types of silicones cure will help us determine what factors in our space will affect our cure times and mold properties. Since tin cure silicones rely on ambient moisture or condensation, we'll want to make sure that we let them cure in an environment that isn't too dry. Normal room temperature and typical humidity will work just fine. Adding heat to our tin cure silicones won't have a useful effect and isn't really worth our time. Platinum cure silicones do not rely on any moisture to cure and can be treated with heat at certain times in the process to alter the attributes or extend the life of our molds.